Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing these gospels in these last days, risking their lives. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And as you can see on the screen, the title of this lesson is going to be Pictures Tell a Thousand Words. Well, this lesson is going to be long, but I don't want to keep it too long. So I might break it into two segments, two parts or three parts. Because I don't want my videos to be too long. You know, there are lots of videos from different Akiams, from the elders, so people can have the opportunity of watching other videos. So I would keep this lesson short, then I'll probably do a part two and a part three. So as you can see, the saying goes, pictures tells a thousand words, you know. So I want to base this part one on this picture, you know, which you can see a man locked behind bars and he has two choices right at his front. He has a bread and he has a key. Then there is a writing on that that says, if you keep them busy with basic needs, they will forget about the freedom they lost. And this man behind the bars represents Jake's, represents the sons of Jacob, represents Israel, Yashar Allah, okay? The bars in which we are locked behind represents the powers that be. They prevent us, you know, from our full freedom, you know, as the sons of the power. We're supposed to be the administrators of this earth. But now we are locked behind bars for many reasons. First of, first of all, you know, we fell short. We broke the agreements we had with the creator, with the father of all spirits. That's Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. We broke the agreement. And we actually went towards our oppressors. So we're actually paying for this punishment. And it's a story that has been written from the beginning. So as you can see, the powers represent the, the gate. And the bread represents that which they offer us, you know, to keep us dumped down. Okay. And this key represents the truth. So as you can see, Jake is right behind the bar. He has two choices to make. One is to just go for the bread and feel his hunger. But when he goes for this bread, what happens? He hits this bread, then he returns back. He sits down or he sleeps off, you know, just for a little while. Then after some hours, he gets hungry again. And he comes back for the same bread again. And he does the same routine. He comes and he goes. He goes back. You know. Whereas he has the choice of unlocking himself. And getting, you know, all the freedom that he never even imagined. And it's easier for this stick right here to go into the key. Rather than getting the bread. But Jake does a lot he struggles, he stresses himself just to get this bread close to him so he can eat it. While he can easily take the stick and insert it into this hole and drag the key close to him, unlock himself. So this is the truth, man. And Jake, Jake is really, Jake is really blind. Jake is not thinking anymore. You know? Jake is not thinking anymore. He's not using his brain anymore. Now... Let's get some scriptures. Okay. I'm going to start from the book of John, which, you know, I told you 
the key represents the truth you know john 8:32 so this is the book of john chapter 8 verse 32 it quotes and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free the only thing that can get you free is the truth and that's the key right here that Jake has but Jake would rather go for the bread man now let's get the next scripture because i'm trying to build up and hopefully it's going to be edifying this is the book of proverbs chapter 32 no 23 23 This is the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 23 quotes by the truth and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding okay there is nothing as precious as the truth if you have the truth what does it say it leads you to eternal life book of romans you know for the gift of the most high yahweh shem yahushai is eternal life you know But Jake goes after this bread and leaves behind this truth because Jake thinks only carnally. He thinks only how to feed his stomach carnally. But then when you get this truth, you'll be fed with everything you need, man. You get extra than you can imagine, you know? Let's go back to scriptures. This is the book of John. chapter 8 now we had 832 before now we have in 836 this is the book of john chapter 8 verse 36 it quotes if the son therefore shall make you free ye shall be free indeed and who is the son the son is yahweh shai all he came to offer is freedom you know live eternal you know then those people that have you locked here they'll be the ones in the, in the in the cage behind you you know now let's see what's going to build up to this is the book of john let's get 14 next chapter I would have been faster to type it. Let me just type it. This is John 14. Let's see what John 14:6. So as I said, this is the book of John chapter 14 verse 6. It quotes, "Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the way and the life i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me yahweh shai is the way the truth and the life you know no one can get to the father except through him now let's see what this is going to build up to because remember how jake cares about is the bread what well, you see this truth is the real this key right here is the real bread man this key right here is the real bread and what he has here is just an illusion of bread you know but this key right here represents the real bread now let's go see where it's going to build up to this is the book of john chapter 6 verse i'll start from verse 47 This is the book of John chapter 6 I'll start from verse 47 it says verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me hath everlasting life okay if you believe in the son yahweh shai you have everlasting life and it goes on saying I am that bread of life yahweh shai is the bread of life is the bread you should be seeking for you know it says Your fathers did eat did eat manna in the wilderness 
and are dead. Okay. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. And what is that bread? Yahweh Shai. Now listen. It says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the, for the life of the world. You know, what well, these people didn't understand what he was saying, you know, because they blinded. They were thinking carnally. They want this bread in which this is the real bread Jake should be going after, man. First of all, if Jake goes after this key, he's going to get to open, unlock himself, you know, as the truth is going to set you free, you know. Jake will be set free, it would come out, it can get anything it wants, you know. It will understand what's going on. It will start to know who locked him here, you know. This is the real bread of life, that key, which is the truth, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the, the truth, the way and life, man. No one gets to the Father except through him. If you don't seek for this spiritual bread, which is Yahweh Shai, you would end up, you know, getting these crumbles. Once you get this crumble, you get fed up, insulined up. And then you go back into the cage and you sleep and you wake up. After some hours, you're back here again. And you keep doing your life just becomes, you know, the same routine. But this is what leads to life. This is the freedom, the truth, which is Yahweh Shai. Now let's go back. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 6, verse 22. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 22, which quotes, But now, being made free from sin, and become servants of Yahweh, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end, and the end everlasting life. Okay? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh Shem Yahushai is eternal life through Yahweh Shai, our, our Mashiach, our Savior. So the point right here is, but now being made free from sin and become servants to the to the to, to Yahweh, okay, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. So if this man decides, if Jake decides. You know to get this key and unlock himself which is the truth if jake seeks something other than just the bread physical bread that he sees and he goes after the key of life the bread of life that's going to satisfy him forever he's going to get to unlock himself from the mental slavery he's been on you know the lies of all these philosophies the poison of the wicked you know which is esau edom the so-called white man you know in power today which we're going to get to his own point, you know, is going to be able to have life everlasting and it will go back to his natural state, which is the sons of the power, you know. Now, going back to let's get Romans chapter 8. It's going to go this way because close. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 2. It quotes, For the law of the spirit of life is Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, hath made me free from the law of sin and death. You know? So, the law of the spirit of life in Yahweh Shai, because once you get to come close to this to Yahweh Shai, which is the truth, and you know he accepts you in because you're not the one that chose him, we are chosen by the Father. You know, you are free from the laws of sins and death, man, which is a pin code, a hack to this. Once you have this, you're forever free from this. You wouldn't be thinking of this kind of bread. You have this, which is the truth, which is the real bread. Then you would not hunger again. You would not be locked. 
this is your sin that got you to this place remember what i said at the beginning you know we are actually locked in this place because we have all seen and come short of the glory of the most high yahweh bashem yahushai but then we have our choices to make you know the carnal bread or the spiritual bread which leads to everlasting life the carnal bread satisfy you for some hours you know and after some hours you would need it again or you go for the spiritual bread that satisfies you forever you know it's a choice that we all have to make this is the book of first corinthians chapter 7 i'll read from verse 20 the book of first corinthians chapter 7 i'll read from verse 20 it quotes let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. As thou called being a servant, care not for it, but if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. Now, let me change the version. Let me go to the NLT because it might be a little complex for you know, for those who don't really understand how this is written in um, in KJV, okay? So this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 20. I'll start from verse 20. It says, Yes, each of you should remain as you were when Yahweh called you, you know? Are you a slave? Don't let that worry you, okay? Because we are all slaves, Ben. We are all slaves in this kingdom, man. Without this truth, we are all slaves. But listen, check this out. I say, but if you get a chance to be free, take it. And you know, many have had the chances to be free. You know, many are called, but few are, are few are chosen. You know, lots of people have had the chance to be set free. You know, seeing the teachers, the elders, the apostles. You know, the archams on the on on the byways and the highways. You know, teaching this truth. You no, know, seeing coming across different lessons on YouTube, people have had the chance to be made free. They've had the chance to come out of this prison that they find themselves. You know, they've had the chance to grab this key. Okay, just like this, you know, they have the stick in their hand, which is which represents the chance. This stick represents the chance. You know, the stick makes it easier for them to grab whatever they want. So they are making their choices. You have the stick in your hand. Either for you to insert it into this keyhole and drag the key to yourself and unlock yourself from this prison that you find yourself or drag yourself, you know, some bread, you know. So we've all had the chance, you know. It says, are you a slave? That's a question. Don't let that worry you. But if you get a chance to be free, take it. In which many would refuse. And it says in verse 22, and remember... If you were a slave when the Lord Yahawashai called you, you are now free in the Lord Yahawashai. And if you were free when the Lord called you, you are now a slave of Yahawashai. So now listen, this is this is what the point is. Remember, if you were a slave in which we were all slaves before, we were being called by Yahawashai. We were slaves, you know, we were free. We got free from this from this cage, man. You know, Yahweh Shai called us. We answered. We were slaves already. You know, in this place, prisoners. Then we got this key. We opened this cage. We came out. You know, we became free. But then, when you become free, you become a slave for this for 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 the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. You know, that is by you know putting yourself into this ministry by teaching other people by learning the best way you can you know first of all you know building your spirit you know as it is written in the book of ezekiel you know it's the whole role and this is the biggest act of love because why you get to help other people come out of this same cage where you find yourself you once found yourself you know yahweh once told his, his disciples if you love me feed my sheep if you love me feed my sheep you know so let's go back to the scriptures, which says, And remember, if you were a slave when the Lord Yahweh Shai called you, you are now free in the Lord Yahweh Shai. And if you were free 
when the Lord Yahushai called you, you are now a slave of Yahushai. Okay. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai paid a high price for you. So don't be enslaved by the world. Okay. The a, a high price has been paid for us, you know, to have this key, man. So don't remember, don't remain behind that bars, you know, getting this crumb, man, in which satisfies you for just few hours. You know, a high price was prayed for you to have this key placed over here, man. Now, that's it, you know, for this first segment, you know. I think I'm just going to make it short that way. And I'll go to the next segment, in which, you know, it's a continuation of this, you know. But, hey, remember, we all... We are behind we were behind these bars before knowing this truth and many are still behind these bars those refusing to accept this truth they have the choice of getting the, the bread that feeds them you know that satisfy their flesh their, their hunger you know their carnal hunger for some hours and they have the bread of life right here in front it is a choice they have to make you know it is either you remain where you are or come out of this sell you know so and that's what it is man you know hopefully this was edifying you know i'll get to the part two which is going to be this next image that you see so this is going to be the part two okay anyway let me just before i even you know get into the part so let me just put this image right here it doesn't really change anything you know so this is exactly the same thing that we saw here you know this is another illustration you know so now this is showing you what's going on today you know this is just like a bait as you see that's a bait you know in which you have the choice you have the choice of of you know refusing and having that everlasting life just like you know what what i showed you here man you know you always have a choice don't give flimsy excuses that you don't have a job uh, you need to keep this job or whatever you don't have a choice you know we all have a choice and this is telling you don't do it it's not worth it man it is not worth it because once you get there it's a trap you know you pick it, you get stuck to it, and you're taken away, you know? It's better you remain there and expect help from the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai, who promises you help if you stick to his words. If you do what pleases the Most High, he will definitely help you from this situation. You know, this is not the way to go. This is not the way to go. Vanessa is not going to help you. Vanessa is going to kill you. Vanessa is a B-I-T-C-H. You know what I mean? You know? Then fuck that stuff right there. Excuse my Italian. Fuck that job right here, man. You know? Your life is what more. Your life is what's more. You know? You have the choice of unlocking yourself. In which that choice is the key. In which this key represents the bread of life which represents Yahweh Shai, you know? So this is exactly the same thing, you know? Just because you want to have this, then you go through this. Then you go through this. You go through this, all in order to continue having your, your little piece of bread that satisfies you for a few hours. Why don't you just go for this key? That's the bread of life. You get from it and you're satisfied forever, man. This truth is going to open your eyes, man, you know? The truth is going to set you free, you know? Hey, hopefully this was edifying. I'm going to get to the part two in which we're going to get a little deeper into things. But that's just a little, you know, to show you what's going to come out in the part two. Hopefully this was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakudash, Shalom.